What's up everybody? I'm Alex Margulies and welcome to a special road trip edition of the Miracle Insider Show. We're going to be on the road in Bradenton for three days and we'll be taking you along for the ride. Well, we'll see you up there. This is only a two hour trip, right? Yeah. That's respect. Off the bus, stop for a little bit of lunch, or get back to it a little later in Bradenton. Made it to the room, got everything unpacked, and uh, gonna take a little nap before we head over to the ballpark. We'll see you guys at McKechnie Field. Welcome inside McKechnie Field, home of the Bradenton Marauders and also the spring training site of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Team just got here, unloaded the bus a little after four o'clock, Time for us to head up to the press box, get our equipment set up. In the meantime, why don't you guys take a little tour around the ballpark. Just finished the prep here at the broadcast booth and McKechnie Field is absolutely unique because we're only a couple hundred feet away from home plate and balls come flying up here at an alarming rate. In fact, the evidence is on the wall. This place is a graveyard. Check it out. Jeff Kent hit a fly ball that pinged right there. This one from Willie Mopena went all the way through the wall. Alex Margulies says that he's got some soft hands and he'd be able to protect us if a ball comes flying up here. I gotta tell you, I really hope it doesn't come to that. Final three games this season for the Miracle on the road at McKechnie Field against the Bradenton Marauders. Pat Dean takes the hill and he will face off against Robbie Grossman. 0-2 pitch is lifted high in the air and deep to left field. Going back is Morales, still going back, and Hicks shows up out of nowhere and makes the catch. Thanks for joining us here tonight on MiracleBaseball.com. And the Bradenton Marauders have taken the first game of this series by a final of 5-4. Well, just finished up the broadcast. Fun game here tonight in Bradenton in game number one of this series. The Miracle played very good baseball, played hard. In the end, they lost to the Marauders 5-4. to four. Had to be happy to see some signs from this team, though. Two big home runs 
from Angel Morales and Jose Pinto. Two run homers gave the Miracle a chance here tonight. In the end, could not hang on. In the first place, Marauders continue to play excellent baseball. Well, that'll do it for our first day here on the road. We'll see you tomorrow at McKechnie Field. Hey, what's up, everybody? Back to McKechnie Field, day number two on the road. You know, everywhere we go on the road trip from point A to point B, there's a very important person behind the wheel. Hi, my name is Pete Garropy. I happen to be the bus driver for the Fort Myers Miracle. I've been driving motor coach for a total of about 23 years. This is my third season with the twin organization and my second with the Miracle. Well, I started driving, actually we started driving trucks when I was about 19 years old. Uh, I was between semesters of college and uh, was asked to uh, be part of a group that went and got there. At that time it was a chauffeur's license. Uh, I did that, never expecting to use it. Probably the first two or three years of my driving career I drove cement trucks. Then I went on to be a, actually a milk, milkman, believe it or not. Uh, from that point I learned to drive tractor trailer. So I had the opportunity to go work for a local bus company in New York and I, I did it. It was probably the best decision I ever made. I worked for that company for the better part of 18 years, and in that 18 year period, I never had a day where I got up in the morning and said I didn't want to go to work, and that's kind of been the same thing down here. Uh, I've been with this company now a little over three years, uh, and again, there's not many days I don't want to get up and go to work in the morning, especially now with the baseball season. Couldn't ask for a better summertime job. Um, I basically get paid to drive to watch baseball games. Uh, my relationship with the staff I think is great. The players are just the best, they're so respectful. Um, I don't know what I, I, there's much more I can say about him. It just, just happens to be a great job. Uh, probably, I mean, I knew of baseball when I was real young, probably five or six years old. Obviously, my dad was a huge baseball fan, particularly he was a huge Dodger fan. And that goes back to the days when the Dodgers were in Brooklyn. And I guess it was, what, 1956 or 57, the Dodgers pulled out of Brooklyn. I can remember to this day, I was only five or six years old. I can remember to this day, my dad really screaming out, he'd never watch baseball again. I can't, this is ridiculous, I can't do this. And in 1962, when the Mets became in existence, that's when I really got my first taste of professional baseball. My dad became a Met fan. I can remember to this day, we went to the Polo Grounds for the game in the 62 against the Dodgers. And my first impression was, my God, how green the grass is. And it's still to this day, that's my first impression when I walk into a baseball stadium. Oh, I'm a huge fan of the Miracle, obviously. I mean, when you're in this kind of work, if you don't get involved with your clients or your customers, there's really something wrong with you. I mean, that's just my opinion. Uh, I can never just sit behind the wheel and be the driver. I like to get involved with my, my clientele, um, in particular this, these guys. You, you want so much for these guys to succeed. And we all know that we'd like to think they're all going to go to the big league, but probably not. But you'd like them to, and that's why I guess I am, a, I am a passionate Miracle fan. I, not only do I see every away game, but I end up going to probably 10 or 15 home games a year. Um, so yeah, I guess I am a passionate Miracle fan. back at the hotel after losing game number two at McKechnie Field. Fortunately, Magic Fu Manchu didn't work, getting rid of it tonight. Time for a little rest and relaxation. Alex Margulies, he had a tough night. I'm gonna go tuck him in. Good night, Miracle Insider Show. All right, final day on the road, just checked out of the hotel. Bryce's Fu Manchu didn't exactly work out yesterday, so went to desperate measures, pulled out the Miami Polo today. While we're here in the hotel waiting for the bus to go to the stadium, we're gonna talk to the guys and. Talk about some of their stories on the road, who their worst roommate's been, what ballparks they like, and stuff like that. Let's check it out. Probably Clearwater. It was pretty, uh, it was pretty sick. We found some pretty nasty stuff in our room. And uh, other than that, it was all right, though. Probably the dirtiest. Uh, let's see. The, I guess the Bradenton Hotel is kind of tough, just because it's not around anything. My least favorite, probably uh, Clearwater. 
Because the AC didn't work that well. It was nasty. Uh, the best one's probably this one, actually. This one or Tampa. Uh, beds are nice here. It's kind of like our spring training hotel. Favorite hotel would be here in Brainton or Daytona, just because it's on the beach. Uh, best hotel is going to be in Tampa. Definitely, they got the two rooms, the big hotel room. My favorite hotel, I would have to say in Daytona, which is right behind the beach, it was nice. Uh, Clearwater was really nice. What about it, did you like about it? Uh, the atmosphere was pretty good, they had a lot of fans. Um, the bullpens were nice too, and had a nice like tiki bar outside the bullpen, so we had some interesting conversations sometimes, so it was pretty cool. Daytona ballpark was real, it was an interesting park right by, you know, right by the coast. Best ballpark would be Clearwater. It's just uh, an awesome ballpark, great scenery, great atmosphere. Uh, favorite ballpark's probably either Clearwater or our stadium back home, Hammond Stadium, it's a nice ballpark. I definitely have to go with Duffy's. We've become huge fans. Uh, I guess it's St. Lucie and Jupiter and Palm Beach all the time, but those Duffy wings are the way to go. Brio in Tampa, Florida. What's so good about it? It's just a classy restaurant, great food. It's got an out outdoor scenery overlooking uh, International Mall and, and Waterfall and stuff, it's awesome. Uh, probably McDonald's, just because uh, every time I have a double cheeseburger, it's got plenty of knocks in it the next day. El mejor, el mejor restaurante que, que he podido en casa comer, Applebee. Applebee's? Yeah, Applebee. Uh, Fridays. Bruce Pugh. Why is he the worst? Always talking to his girlfriend, always fighting with her and everything. I, I haven't roomed with him, but that's just what I hear. All my roommates have been good, but I hear Pugh's the worst. Pugh and Hicks. Bruce Pugh, without a doubt. Definitely Bruce. Bruce Pugh. <laughs> what makes Bruce so bad? I hope he has a lot of minutes on his phone. Talks so loud all hours of the night. The whole time you're in the room, he's on the phone. Bruce Pugh. Gotta go uh, Bruce, Bruce Pugh. Why is he the worst? <laughs> From what I've heard, he's just always on the phone. If you could have like maybe a top three what is your road roommates, who else would you add to kind of that, that top list of just guys you don't want to see? I mean, I would go Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. Sorry, guys. <laughs>